Hi guys and welcome to our new uh, Terraria series on this channel. Uh, previously I've been playing a lot of Warframe but I thought it was time for a bit of a change since I was getting a bit bored of Warframe as I mentioned in my previous video. So we're just going to be doing a playthrough in the new 1.4 Journey's End update on Master Mode. We're going to have a classic uh, character, we're not going to go in for the uh, hardcore or anything like that because I want this to be a bit of a chilled playthrough. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to just go ahead and create a character. I'm going to be doing these um, episodes a few at a time, so I'm going to pre-record them just so I can release them on a schedule so you guys get some more consistent uploads. Um, and yeah, hopefully you like them. So we're going to go ahead and just, let's go, not Kreiner. We'll give our character a bit of a Warframe themed name. And then let's go ahead and just give him some interesting clothing ideas. Oh, a skull. I like it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, he's looking pretty tanky. I like it. Let's go with that. So let's uh, take Krimmer in. We're going to create a new world. Large Master and Crimson. The way I'm going to do this is probably, uh, depending on how well this first playthrough goes, I might well do a corruption playthrough as well. Uh, we let's call this one YouTube Crimson. And yeah, I think uh, I think that'll do. We'll leave the seed as random. Um, I don't really like the pre-generated seeds or any uh, suggested seeds, just because I like the challenge of a, a random a random spawn. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and create the world, and uh, we'll see what we get. I'll uh, skip through this uh, first loading bit for you guys, just so you don't have to wait around. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so here we are in our newly formed world. So we're just going to start by cutting down some trees. Uh, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing actually. I should be cutting down the bigger trees. So we're going to head over to the right. Uh, I should point out um, that I am not great at this game. Uh, I have quite a few hours in it. In fact, it's probably my second most played game after Warframe. But by no means am I a technical genius when it comes to movement and dodging and things like that. I tend to play this game casually. Um, and when it comes to doing boss fights, I am the kind of person who will make a really over-the-top arena uh, and just basically try and get the fight to do itself. So, yeah, we're going to help the guide out here with this uh, slime just so we can get some uh, some well, some gel so we can get some torches. Let's uh, move back so that he slips over. And like I said, I'll get hit a lot during this playthrough. In fact, I'm expecting to die quite a few times, which you guys will see. Uh, so yeah, let's cut down these trees right here. What we're going to do, we're going to go straight ahead and uh, just dig in. Uh, we're going to get ourselves as much wood as possible here without dying to this giant purple slime that's coming our way. Okay, let's not jump. Let's jump through the slime, that works. Okay, right, let's carry on over here. We're going to make ourselves a load of platforms just for when we go underground. It looks like we got ourselves a nice surface tree area here, which is good. So let's see what we get from that. Always like it when we find these early on. So we've got some shine potions and some more wood. Uh, let's go ahead and we we'll use a glow stick here just to light the way. Put some more rope. We need to be a bit careful down here. These are no longer sanctuaries. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll put these on our hot bar actually. It's nice to have a few, a few of those early on. Okay. Good. We've got some torches. That's nice. So let's start lighting this place up. Uh, some shurikens, night owl, there's our leaf wand and some gills potions. We'll grab all this stuff, uh, you never know when you might need it. Cool, cool. Let's see if this actually goes into a cave. Always worth checking the bottom of these because sometimes they do drop like straight onto gold chests. <laughs> like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and check what we've got. So we've got a nice band of regen first thing and a flare gun which isn't going to help us at all but we'll take it. Let's uh, light this area up and we'll use the slime we got earlier to make some more torches. I don't think there's anything else in there. There's some lead over there, but I'm not too fussed about that. So what we'll do, we'll just head out here if we can get up. There we go. So let's climb on up. So that was a really good first find. Um, I'm happy that we got that. We've also got some recoil potions straight away so that we can get back to base nice and fast. Not that we have a base right now, but we will do. Let's go ahead and jump these guys, yep. like so, don't want to get involved. We'll keep going and picking up stuff, looks like we've got a nice cave entrance here so let's go and have a bit of a spelunker. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, let's just go ahead and mine that. Oh, we do have a cave entrance, it's just over here. Cool. 
All right, let's uh, head on down. Some more recall potions. Hopefully we won't need recall potions for very long since we can find a uh, magic mirror, but they're always nice to have when you're just running about exploring. Doesn't matter there's anything down there. Let's have a look over here. So we really do have to be a bit careful uh, in this early stage of the game. Monsters are going to be dealing a lot of damage to us. We do have a band of regen. What? Okay. I can't believe that I didn't see that and that there were explosives so close to the surface. But on the plus side, we did find a chest next to it. So we've already recorded our first death, guys. Oh my god. All right. I'm going to cut the video here and uh, we'll get back to where we were just so we can have a look at that chest there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we're back here at the site of our uh, first catastrophe. Um, we'll just go ahead and pick all that stuff out that we dropped. And let's go and see what we can find in here. We've got a penguin statue, that's for sure. It looks like there might be an underground desert to our right as well, which is worth noting. Nice, okay, so we got ourselves some Hermes boots. That's a really good early game find. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab this pop down here. I don't think this is maybe a tungsten chandelier. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, we can't reach. Oh, we have uh, no, a... Alright, let's go ahead and uh, have a look and see if this goes anywhere. Looks like it doesn't go anywhere, but I want to grab those torches, so I'm actually going to mine up here. There we go. Anything over there? Ah, yes, look, there's some rubies over there. So we'll just mine our way through here. Hopefully we don't take too much damage from dropping here. In fact, we can take it in steps. That's good. Nothing in the water, it looks like, but we'll grab these. So we've got two rubies there. That's going to be really important for spawning uh, King Slime when we come to it. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just going to save them up. Oh my goodness, come on. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so yeah, it looks like there might be a desert over to that right-hand side. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep exploring uh, this cave that we found here. What's this slime doing? I don't think he can fit through there. No, he can't. All right, we'll continue uh, heading downwards. Uh, these slimes can probably get me there, or maybe not. All right, let's see what we've got. Nothing too fancy at the moment. Uh, we've got some gems here that we can probably mine up. Uh, right, let's make use of our... That one is carrying something. I can't see what it is. Some gold ore. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the statue as well, guys. Might as well. Dark gold statue. So let's grab these sapphires. Doesn't look like there's much to shout about in this first cave we found. Uh, we did get the Hermes boots, which is going to help us explore a lot faster, which is nice. But uh, other than that, and there might be some amethyst up there as well, actually, looking at it. But good. Let's grab that. And then we'll probably head back, guys, and start heading in the other direction to see if there was any uh, cave entrances on the other side. So let's go ahead and just grab these. And then we'll use one of our recoil potions to get back to spawn. Yeah, nothing else around here. Let's just check we didn't miss anything. So there was another little entrance there, but I don't think that's going to really lead to too much. So let's head back. And we'll go the other way. Okay, so we have a really close crimson biome. That's not ideal. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to get involved going that way right now. So what we'll do, guys, we'll head back over. And we shall... Just plonk down a little starter shack for our NPCs. Uh, we'll do it to the right of spawn just because I want it as far away really from that corruption as possible. So we'll cut down a few more trees here. Uh, we'll probably put it actually where the guide is right now. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. I'll probably do this off camera just so uh, it's not too tedious for you guys. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so as you can see I've gone ahead and I've just created a little shack here. Uh, I've created two rooms for our NPCs. One's going to be for the merchant and the other one obviously for our guide here who has taken a lot of damage from zombies. Um, the reason I only want two here is I want to kind of control the way our NPCs spawn in just because if too many come here then we're not going to be able to buy the pylon from the merchant. So 
We just need to be careful about that. Uh, I put down some chests here and I also put down a furnace, uh, our workbench and an anvil here just so we can get to work kind of uh, putting some stuff together. So I'm going to use this gold chest over the left here for our ores. Um, so we're going to kind of try and order these best we can. Um, I think those are the only two we've actually got right now. So that should do us. Uh, right, we have eight, so we can make a silver bow, which is going to be a direct upgrade uh, to whatever the hell we're going to use otherwise. And we can actually make some gold bars, apparently, because we've got some, uh, some gold ore, which is nice. Right, I think everything else... Um, we we'll probably just chuck in the chest for now. We'll we'll sort out um, storage once we actually get to building a proper base, which definitely won't be yet. So let's just go ahead, dump all of this stuff in here for now. Uh, we can put anything else out later. We'll probably keep that just so we can get some movement speed. There's a lot of banging on doors right now. Good God! We'll keep that actually just for a bit of uh, some, some structure, and we'll put the couple shorts all away because we're probably never going to use it again. Uh, in fact, what we might do is use this wood. We'll keep the platforms as well. We're definitely going to need those. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a wooden sword. Let's see if we can get a bit better wooden sword. No. Hurtful, that'll do. That's 14 damage, so we'll stick that there. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Let's just uh, mark all these up, just so we don't get rid of them by accident. Uh, the rope we'll probably throw away, actually. We don't need the rope. Uh, and all of these can be thinned now. Good. All right. We'll keep that, uh, the rest of it on on us just for some building supplies, etc., etc. Uh, let's go ahead and turn some of these into flaming arrows. And then what we'll do is, yeah, we'll uh, kill these zombies, I guess. Throwing knives at the start of the game are actually really good for uh, zombie control. Uh, so make sure you pick them up. Same as shurikens, actually. Uh, nice, we got a shackle. So that's going to give us a bit more movement speed and defense, so we'll throw that on. Uh, let's use this grapefruit, um, just so we can get some more movement speed. Uh, it's minor improvements to all stats, so it's a good thing to have. We'll keep moving. Uh, let's jump over this, actually. So... We're not going to explore left just because there's a big crimson biome there and there is no way in hell that my dodging is up to scratch enough to get through that without taking a load of damage. Uh, actually, let's deal with these guys properly. Oh, we're going to die, aren't we? No, we're not. We clutched it. As I was saying, my dodging skills are not up to scratch. <laughs> so let's keep moving. Uh, we should have taken the healing potions with us as well, actually, thinking about it, but it's a bit late now. So let's see if we can get through this uh, this desert without any issue. I'm assuming we probably can't, but we could try. Really, at the start of the game, it's all about exploration and just seeing what you what you can uh, what you've got to work with. So it looks like we've got ourselves another another big old tree here. We've got to be careful that we don't come in contact with any gnomes because they'll just kill us instantly. Uh, doesn't look like this one's going to have a room. Oh, it does, but. It's a gold chest room. We've gone straight into the underground desert. So we got some more Hermes boots. That's all right. Uh, let's just check. We've got some scarab bombs as well. This one's actually gone straight into the next one, which has another room in it. Wow, okay. So if you look above us now, you can see there's a gnome that spawned in there. Luckily, he's contained. Got another leaf wand. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the summoner item, which would have been really nice to get at this stage. But yeah, so far looking good. There's another tree there as well, actually. Uh, we're not going to go all the way down just yet because I'm pretty certain that that's going to lead us into the underground desert, which is another place that I do not want to be right now. Uh, we'll just get killed by tomb crawlers instantly, and I cannot be dealing with that. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything down there. Another chest here, though. So we got a radar. Let's put that on. Might as well. Detects enemies around you. Uh, we'll take the chest. This uh, pot right here. Good stuff. All right. Uh, let's open this up and then we'll kill these zombies with the knives. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. Actually, we can do that because they're idiots. There we go. Cool. Got another shackle. Let's see if it's better than the last one. It's not. It's just a normal one. Uh, we'll use this night owl potion since it is night time and we we'll probably won't use it anyone else. That is a cave entrance. I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. We might just keep exploring the surface for now. Die, please. There we go. 
So we are actually going to run out of throwing knives soon. We do have some shurikens as well, but uh, we probably don't want to use them. So we've got an aglet. Some grenades. That's really good. That's going to help us get the demolitionist. Which we're going to need. Some heating pots. That's another cave entrance. Again, I don't think I want to go down there just yet. We'll keep exploring above ground for now. Let's get over this guy. Yeah. Not trying to get into too many fights here. This looks like it might be another cave entrance. It is. But we've got ourselves a chest as well. So we got ourselves a spear here. That's going to be a lot better than our our sword. Um, it's going to hit multiple times. It's a bit slower, but I think it's better. So we're going to take it. Let's grab everything else. And we'll uh, just kind of pop our way out of here. Good stuff. All right, let's keep going. Looks like we're going to have some zombie troubles. Ooh, don't know what I'm hitting. Okay. Let's go ahead and replace that with our shurikens now. Um, the shurikens do slightly less damage and are slightly slower uh, than the uh, throwing knives, but they still serve the purpose. As you can see, there's nowhere near the uh, knockback you get from the throwing knives. Cool. So we're just going to create kind of a little bridge here. Across this uh, lake. It's quite a big lake. So I think these episodes are going to be sort of between... Um, 20 to 30 minutes each guys so i don't know how long we're going to uh, how much longer we'll spend doing this what we'll what i think we'll do is we'll just keep going as far as we can in terms of exploring the surface here uh oh lordy. and then we'll uh we'll see about uh, calling it a day for this episode we've done pretty well so far we've managed to get some items together already got two gold which is nice Good stuff so Ideally, we want to be getting the um, the merchant first. If he shows up first, that would be great. Okay, so we actually have the um, the jungle to our to our right here. So that's uh, that's a good to know. That means that the dungeon is over to our left, past where the crimson is, which is actually ideal for us since we don't really want to be heading to the um, we don't want to be heading to the dungeon just yet anyway. So that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just deal with these guys. Ooh, we're out. All right. So what we'll do, guys, we'll just uh, see if we can gung ho it through this uh, first part of the jungle and see if there's any kind of surface chest around. Uh, if not, no biggie. We'll call it a, a day there. But if we can get through, then perhaps we can make it over to the ocean and call on the help of the angler. Whoops. What are we doing here? We're not going to get through if we keep doing stuff like that. All right. Let's uh, let's just leg it, shall we? Uh, so we should probably be on the lookout as well. In fact, I'm going to grab go and grab that rather than continue my gung ho ness. The moon glow. Let's heal up just so we can potentially take an another hit if we need to. But yeah, I, I don't expect really to be able to get through this uh, in one piece, guys. I'm just here to uh, get the loot, so to speak. Let's grab that chest. Stuff. So we actually got a decent amount of stuff from that chest, it seems. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy, just so we... He'll probably one-shot us if we go ahead and just try and jump him, so... Let's not risk that. Let's keep going. We really don't want to die either here, just because we have, uh, like, three gold on us, which... For this stage in the game, is actually pretty good. Uh, right, we've got another bat coming in. Ooh. Come on. There we go. So we've got five seconds until we can heal again. Uh, right. Let's see up there. There's another bat coming, it looks like. Uh, but he is going in the wrong direction, so that's fine. Uh, come on. There we go. That'll do. Let's keep going. 
So we've done a pretty good job here of navigating the jungle. Um, yeah, we found a good load of chests this episode, it looks like. Even just surface chests. We've got a herb bag, which we'll open when we get back. And the merchants here, that's perfect. Let's see what we get in here. So we've got a boomerang. Lovely stuff. Let's grab that. Let's see what else we get. Some more grenades, that's good. Go ahead and get this guy to back off a bit. So if you keep the knot back up, they shouldn't jump at you. Uh, even if he falls down there, I'm not too bothered that he didn't die there. Just want him away from me at this point. So let's keep going. Looks like we've got ourselves another man-eater here, or snatcher, since it's on the surface. Let's take him out. Good stuff. Okay, this isn't too good here. Don't want to be in the water. Luckily, he jumped over me. What a guy. Uh, let's keep going here. Uh, can I kill this thing without taking any heat from the bat behind me? Probably not. Yeah, here we go. All right. This should keep the bat at bay, actually, uh, since they can take increased knockback. But we're going to get stuck here in a second. We may have to back. Uh, let's let it jump once more. There we go bit touch and go there but we did it hopefully another bat doesn't come over okay we should jump already but we're not going to mistakes were made no all right guys not a big deal we dropped a shitload of gold so we might have to go back and grab that uh, in fact, we're not going to be able to. I think the uh, slimes are going to jump away with it, which isn't good. But we did get a load of items. Uh, we might have just risked it a bit too much there, but not a big deal. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can make out of all this. So if we go ahead and go to the shop, we can sell these Hermes boots since we've already got a pair. We can sell the flare gun because it's just a stupid item. Uh, we can sell this guy to plant fiber color, uh, whatever that is. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, the Living Loom, I'm going to get rid of that just because I never really use it for crafting anyway. Uh, and then, yeah, everything else really, we'll probably we get rid of the Wooden Sword now. Uh, yeah, that's probably about it really, isn't it? So our Jungle Pylon is 8 gold and 50 silver. We don't quite have enough yet for that. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just open this herb bag and see what we get. So we've got some more Moon Glow, that's really good. Uh, we can sell the Shackle actually since we've got one of those on. Uh, we'll keep these guys just so we can place living wood for maybe when we do do the uh, the base building stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and put this in here. Actually, we already have uh, a set of those, so we can sell them. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those. Good stuff. Uh, anything else that we can get rid of? Probably not, unless I'm blind. We'll keep the scarab bombs. They're actually really good. Let's go ahead and uh, just dump our potions away for now that stuff. The iron we'll keep out of there because we've got a chest for it. Fallen stars, gel. Grenades we'll keep on us. Uh, let's go ahead and put the lead bars in there. Throwing knives we want to keep. Good. All right. Right. We'll call the episode there, guys. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it.